Hey guys, so today I'm starting off with super cute hair. I am letting it dry, just took a shower, and so you're gonna be getting ready with me for picture day, yay! And so I'm just starting off by priming my eyes. I always, always, always do this. And I'm actually kind of setting that primer with a face powder. This helps to not only set it, but it also kind of neutralizes the eye because that primer doesn't really cover any veins or anything like that. Then I'm starting off with this light shade from the Coastal Sense Reveal Palette, and I'm just blending that into to my crease and above. I'm just kind of taking this everywhere as my transition shade and as you can see during this whole entire look I'm going to be bringing the shadow a little further than I usually would because I want to really elongate the eye so I'm going to be pulling it a little further than the outer edge of my eye if you know what I mean. Now I'm taking this darker shade and a little bit of a thicker and more precise brush. I'm going to be blending that right into the crease and a little bit above but not quite as high and of course going back in with the E40. Then I'm taking this Morphe shadow and just kind of doing the same thing except bringing it a tiny bit lower and more onto my outer V and doing that same exact thing just flicking that brush outwards so I can drag the shadow a little more out and this will definitely help the eye look more long instead of more round. I just wanted to go with that kind of look today and of course going back Back in with the E40. Then I'm taking this black and really lightly I'm going to be just putting it right onto the outer V of my eye. I don't want to place this anywhere else. I really just want the definition from it and I'm kind of going with a kind of smoky eye today but just on the outer corner. Everything's focused on the outer corner of the eye today. And I'm taking that same brush and it doesn't have any additional product on it but you can put a little bit more of that brown if you want. And I'm just kind of flicking it around. I'm not going to drag it every which place around my eye. I want to keep it right onto the outer V to really work on creating depth into that outer corner and then I'm taking the big brush and of course blending everything out. It's all about the blending and then I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side and I even pulled my eye a little just to help but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And now I'm going to be going back in with that brown shade that I used on the outer V. I'm just going to use it to blend out this color a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I say go back in because I feel like I use this in every single tutorial. And I'm using kind of this shimmery sunshade. I know it sounds kind of funny, but it is kind of like a light yellowy shade, but it's not yellow. You know what I mean? And so I'm just placing it with a flat brush right onto my lid. I'm going to meet it with that black, and I'm not doing that really, really precisely. I'm not, you know, worrying too much about how it meets with the black because I'm going to take a brush that I used in the crease. I'm just going to blend those two shades together and I'm also going to run it right into that crease so that there's no harsh lines whatsoever. Everything blends perfectly. Then I'm going to be doing my eyeliner off camera because I'm awful on doing at doing it on camera and I'm also going to apply fake lashes off camera also and if you want to know which ones I use they will be linked down below. And now I'm just using my Naked Skin by Urban Decay and I did mist my Morphe brush beforehand with some Fix Plus spray just because I knew I was going to be layering this foundation just a little bit so I did want to dry a little bit faster than normal and I'm just patting that into my skin and rubbing it around. Then for a second layer, I love to switch to the Beauty Blender. I just feel like it applies a second layer so seamlessly and it doesn't cake up or anything like that. And I did just use it on the places where I need a little more coverage. I didn't apply a second layer to my entire face. Then I'm going in with my Eclipse palette again from Coastal Scents and I'm using kind of this lilac-y light lavender shade and I'm just placing it in the inner corner of the eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like the effect that this gave my under eyes. I just kind of tried to it out and I do not recommend that on a special occasion but you know me I'm kind of yep that's what I did <laughs> so now I'm just blending my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer right over top of it I did put it in the center of my face just to highlight and then I picked up another Morphe brush and I'm placing that concealer real close to that wing that I created so it can be even more sharp and then I didn't show the product because I actually just have a sample of it but I did use the NARS loose powder to set my under eyes then I'm going back in with my Morphe gel liner that I actually forgot to show in the video so are you guys Guys. but um, I went in with it on an angled brush and I actually covered the glue already dried to prevent any white glue from showing through because that's just not a cute look. Then I'm going back in with my Reveal palette and that light brown shade and just blending it all over my um, lower lash line with really no rhyme or reason, just getting it all on there. 
And then I'm going to pick up that darker shade. I'm pretty much using all the shadows that I used on the eye before. And I'm going to place that mainly just on the outer half of the eye. And then I'm going to pick up the black. And I really love doing this on looks like this, especially since I'm trying to el elongate the eye. I have such a hard time saying that. And I'm taking a smudger brush and just dabbing it right onto the outer corner of the eye. I'm not going to rub it around a ton. I'm just going to dab it right close into that lash line just to give me a little more definition on the outer edge of the eye. And then I'm coating my lower lashes with mascara, of course. Then, I never really show this anymore, but I just sped through it because, of course, it takes me so long. But I started using the Micro Brow Pencil about a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how I use it. I don't really use brow pencils all that much, I feel like, but I really, really like this one. And then I go in with my Bodyography um, Powder, which, again, I don't really like powders, but I really like my brow routine lately. And so I just fill in my brows a little bit darker than usual, but I don't know. I I've been liking it and so then after I finish filling it in with the powder then I'll just clean up my brow a tiny bit and set my brows with the elf clear brow gel I can't talk about this stuff enough it is so freaking good and it's a dollar like I've little literally gone through eight of these I kid you not and I need more I just I love them so much then I'm going to go in with my Model Co. Bronzer, and I'm just taking it on a big um, duo fiber brush, and I'm just going to be bronzing up the skin. I wouldn't really do this that often, but I, I feel like it's necessary, especially with my skin, is because it's so light and just so washed out, I feel like in photos, I kind of have to warm it up a bit. And then I went in with my actual contour color, and oh my gosh, this brush is awesome. I showed all of these brushes in my haul recently, so I will link that down below if you want to see all the numbers of these brushes. And so I'm just contouring, and just, it's so easy with this brush, I can't talk about it enough, it's awesome. And so after I finish contouring, I'm going to go in with my blush. I wanted a pretty neutral shade, but I love pinks, so I went in with this NYX blush in the shade Dusty Rose. I'm just patting that on with this angled brush again from Morphe. And then I'm clearly excited about this. This is the new Champagne Pop Becca highlighter that Jaclyn Hill made, and it's just absolutely beautiful. This is my first time using it on camera, and I'm so disappointed the camera did not pick it up, like, at all all. It is not doing it justice, but trust me, it is beautiful. It's highlight on fleek, definitely. And so I'm just placing that on my cheekbones, above my brow, my cupid's bow, and a tiny little, little bit on my nose. And I love to also bring that highlight right into the inner corners of the eyes. This will definitely make the eyes look more awake and make them pop. And now I'm going to be taking this lip liner and just lining my lips. This lip liner is not very opaque, but whenever I don't have like a lip liner that matches the color that I'm using. I like to use this. I don't know, it just makes my lips look defined without adding color, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So then I'm applying this lipstick. It's Fig. It's in a duo. It's by Bite Beauty. And now I'm just going to be cleaning up that outer edge with concealer to make sure that it is very sharp, that line. And now my hair looks really wonky, so I gotta curl it. And now I'm all ready for the day. I hope you guys like this tutorial and make sure to give it a thumbs up. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!